What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ava. Today's 5 minute healer tip is actually nothing to do with healers, but you guys as healers tell your friends as well, there is a way that you can make some AD. This question pops up a lot. How can I make AD? I hate to break it to you. Some of the things I'm going to show you is going to require you to do some work, aka kill enemies, which in MMOs usually that is what you do. This situation here is kind of can be a long process or you can speed up the process. It's, it's super dependent on what you want to do. Do you want to put in the work? Do you want to put in the extra time to get ahead on making some AD here? Or do you want to do the slow crawl process? I can tell you right now that these kind of things can just kind of build up in the background. There are things that you'll need to look out for as well. So we're going to start off here in the dread ring where I like to call this the bread ring. That might be way outdated, but the bread ring was named this because you could make so much AD and profit so much right here out of the dread ring. I'm going to show you the first few things that you need to look for. What's really helpful is up here, you can see evocation. That's going to tell you the days that you can get these enchanting stone rank fives. There are also events that have double refining stones, double dread ring currency, all of those events you want to take into play. So the event that's going on right now is the double dread ring currency. The way you can utilize the double dread ring currency is right over here. He's hiding in the back, Del McCourt here. Del McCourt will be able to give you these bags of treasures. The bags of treasures are going to give you vanguard scripts, Dian scrolls, Dian ciphers. Really what you're looking for is these vanguard scripts because these scripts are going to help you purchase a key. The Thion Layer Key will allow you access to that Dread Spire in order to get a chance at the Enchanting Stone Rank 5. So, the more keys you have, the more you can farm this out. So, let's open up. I have 35 Genius Gifts, which you can get by doing Juma Bag farming while you're getting the Chaotic Writings to get Juma Bags. Genies Gifts kind of come out of everywhere these days, so they shouldn't be too difficult to get. You also can just farm the Dread Ring the old school way. Doing daily quests will give you these scrolls as well, so if you're wanting to take your time on it, you don't have to do what I'm doing here by buying crap loads of these Thion treasure bags. But if you're wanting to speed up the process and you have genie gifts on the side, you can just do it this way. So the more Thion layer keys you have, the more profit you're going to make. Each time you run a Dread Spire or a Phantasmal Fortress or a Death Forge, you have a chance of getting an Enchanting Stone Rank 5. That rank 5 can be doubled though during refining stones. So if you're really wanting to make the most profit, you're going to wait until 2 times refining stones where these can give you 2 times enchanting stone rank 5s. But I at least wanted to show you the beginning portion of what you can do and how you can run a bunch of these in order to get enchanting stone rank 5s. So right now instead of giving me 15 vanguard scripts, it's going to give me 30. That's going to give me three keys for each bag. So let's just open them really, really fast. Now you're going to go back to Delma Court. Delma Court's going to have Thion Layer Keys. Since you, it's double Dread Ring Currency, we just got a crap load extra scrolls with our Genie's Gifts than we normally would. So we're getting extra of the Thion Layer Keys. And you can just purchase up to however many you want. Obviously, this is really going to be the only thing you're going to need these scrolls for. So feel free to uh, purchase them out if you'd like. Okay, so we have a crap load of keys. Now, again, good practice is to wait for two times refining stones. But if you need AD right away, let me just show you how much the enchanting stones are going for. Right now, the cheapest one is at $45,999. So you can make a lot of AD out of this. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can wait for these prices to be. This is a good price for it, mind you. Right now, 45k is great. If it gets to like 30 and under, it's kind of questionable whether it's worth your time, but at the end of the day, it's all worth your time if you have the time to spare because you do not have to spend any AD, you don't have to use Zen, nothing like that in the Dread Ring. Literally, you, it all feeds into itself, and you can constantly go back in and farm these, and it just keeps giving back. So, these Enchanting Stone Rank 5s are super valuable in the game because you need it to level up multiple different things. 
So people need these all the time. So they are being purchased constantly. So it's a great little business to get on the side. I'm going to call it a side gig, really, honestly. But you can make this also your full-time job. As any full-time job goes, you want to wait until you can make the best profit. So you want to look on the calendar for when there's a two times finding stone. Two times are finding stones. Here you go. So October 21st. Holy crap, that's right around the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Tomorrow you can actually start doing this. Tomorrow you can go into these and get two times enchanting stone rank fives. That's super wild. I was not expecting this to line up the way it did. So we just got two times dread ring currency. My my friends would be geeked right now if they still were really active on this game because a two times dread ring currency and then a two times refining stone kind of back to back is like that never feels like that happened. This is probably a video I should put up ASAP because you guys can really get in on this right away. All right, and this is what you get out of the chest. So I got an enchanting rank stone rank four and rank three. But I can tell you right now that the rank fives are abundant, especially if you run a lot of these. There you have it. So quick breakdown one more time. You go to this guy. Let's speed it up really fast. You go to this guy, you buy die and layer keys. You buy as many as you possibly can. If you got some genies gifts willing to spend them, you can get the bags. And the last thing I wanted to remind you guys of, and probably the most important thing, is knowing what time of day these layers will become available and when they will reset. It is not the reset that you get your daily key, it is the event reset. I know on the east coast it is 1 p.m. ish time frame, but I don't know where it is all over the rest of the world. But again, Monday through Sunday, you will want to do event reset time. So knowing that on, say on Monday, you did want to go for scrolls, you could do it before the event reset time, but not after. And that goes for Friday as well. It's a little tricky, but just look here and check. As you can see on the evocation day, um, it says October 19th on mine. 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. and it will let me know down at the bottom which I can farm and this one would be the Dread Spire. So it will change daily. Just check it right up here at the top right where your events are. Alright guys, hope that's been helpful and again, it's not healer advice. Anyone can utilize this, but as a healer, I just made it through one of them. So you healers out there can actually go and do these without being really maxed out. The more you do, like putting on movement speed things, having a strong companion to help you out, uh, things like that, just getting fast at it, that's gonna help you make money faster, uh, which is kind of nice to have as well. All right, that's it guys. If you have found this fun and helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. I truly appreciate all the support. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the notification button so that you will be notified when the next video pops out. Thank you everyone and I'll see you next time.